And now we're going to move on to something really exciting. We're going to create the best team or best 11, basically. So every week we're going to choose someone and we're going to all argue between who's, who should be the person that fills that role. And we're going to start with the goalkeeper this week as to who belongs to the best goalkeeper of all time. And we want you to tweet in and you can agree with one of us. Uh, that means just really agree with me. Um, and you can tweet us on ST World Football because we'd like to hear from you too. So, guys, who did you choose for the best football? Well, since you stole the name that I wanted to <laughs> oh, I stole, Amina, did I? <laughs> I will have to go for uh, my backup, which is Oliver Kahn. Um, perhaps not the best keeper ever if you look at the whole career, but if you look at um, him at his peak between 1999 and 2001, even before the World Cup where he won the uh, trophy for the best player, which is something that probably will never happen again for mm -hmm. a goalkeeper winning uh, the best player at a World Cup. Um, this guy won matches by himself, and I think for that time, limited time, I think he's the best ever. Your time is limited. Uh, is up, sorry, limited. <laughs> <laughs> so I think so that was your 30 seconds. <laughs> Philippe, you have 30 seconds to talk uh, about your... I, yes, I, I, I made the politically correct choice, as Raf uh, <laughs> said, um, <laughs> we were talking between, um, within, between us, and uh, I chose Lev Yashin. Um, and of course, people say, "Well, that's ridiculous." You know, you never saw uh, Yashin play at, at the, you know the height of his uh, powers. But it's one thing. First of all, if we're talking about the best player ever, okay, I have to rely also on the opinion of others. And I've talked to people like um, Brian Glanville, my mentor, my hero, who saw a lot of um, uh, Lev Yashin, and who told me, "Well, there was nobody to come close to him in terms of the aura." He had on on the pitch, and, you have your and when I grew seconds. when I grew up, my <laughs> thirty seconds are up. Um, <laughs> he's also the only keeper to have ever won the Ballon d'Or, um, which is not nothing. No, um, and I suppose he is is mythical. He's an icon. He's somebody when I was growing up, goalkeeper equaled Lev Yashin. And I think that's pretty pretty big, pretty good enough for me. Okay, this is uh, mm. mine. I, of course, chose Gianluigi Buffon because he genuinely is the greatest football, uh, greatest uh, goalkeeper ever. Um, now, he started at 17. Um, I think he got his first cap at 19. He conceded only two goals in the World Cup 2006, and that was one of them to a Zidane penalty, the other to Zaccato. He's, uh, he's ISFHS best goalkeeper since... Uh, well, for the last 25 years, more than that. He is the greatest goalkeeper since they started to collect statistics. He's versatile. He's maybe not very good at penalties. I'll concede that. But what he is good at is He'll concede him. Sorry. <laughs> he's, the, <laughs> he's the kind of goalkeeper that really intimidates you. And you could tell it w against Palermo, Ilicic couldn't score against him. It's because he just keeps standing and he doesn't fall instantly, which is what makes him such a great goalkeeper. More than that, he's a great person. He knows how to marshal a defence. He knows how to organise. Cannavaro, in my opinion, became a better defender because of him. Um, but, Time's uh, up, surely. Yeah, all right, fine. Time's up. So please vote for Buffon. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding. The times are over.